Good morning everyone, this is a Tesla Model Y Juniper long range dual motor and today we're going to do a range test at 130 kilometers an hour. I'm here at the supercharger, I don't know if I charge to 100%, I'm at 80 something and it tells me half an hour to 100%, maybe we only charge to 90 or 95, we'll see, because the 5%, come on, it's fine. Um, the car has 255 19-inch wheels on, on all four. Gigantic. I didn't know that they need 255 on all four. Huh. Uh, we'll see. And we're right here on the highway, so I'm going to go on the highway and then drive the GPS speed 130. And we'll see how far we can go. I'm on my way and I'm driving 130. I just measured and 131. So it's in between 130, 131 will be 130 GPS speed. So the car is showing almost perfect speed, which is amazing. I only charged to 90% like I thought. The trip since charging in the middle, 13.6 kilometers is my trip that I'm doing today. Um, I have my uh, AC at 21 and a half degrees on auto and I have to pass, someone is driving slow. Yes, is there anything else? There's no drive modes. I don't think so. It's Sunday morning, I hope there's not a lot of traffic, but I think it's the end of some holidays. And soon there is a speed limit. I have used 25% of the battery and drove 99 kilometers. This is amazing. What is that full range? 396 kilometers. That is awesome. But it's also perfect conditions. It's sunny. It, <coughs> it was 19 degrees when we started. Now it's 23. It's going to be very hot today uh, at around 32 degrees in the afternoon, but we're not going to drive that long. But amazing consumption is 184 watt hours per kilometer. Amazing. And by the way, so many people are always complaining. Why do you say watt hours per kilometer? It's kilowatt hours. Okay. <laughs> the physical thing is kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And it's way longer to say that then watt hours per kilometer and it's the same it's just a different number but it's so instead of 18.5 you say 185 which is way easier to say and since i have to say my consumption 2000 times in every video i'm not saying the long thing and if someone says my consumption is uh, 18 kilowatt hours that's just wrong it's 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer huh How is it to drive the Tesla Model Y Juniper on the highway at 130? And uh, I talked already in my first drive. So comfort, it's a tiny bit more comfortable than the old Model Y, but it's not, oh my God, the world is different. Really not. I have to pass him a bit. He's driving 129 or so. Um, Loudness is really good at 130, they improved, so there's barely any noise, there's no wind noise, there's no tire noise, really, really good. So noise level in here is fantastic, I have to say. 
Um, the seats are, as always, they're fine. They're nothing special, but they're fine. Um, cruise control, it's, do, it's doing its thing. This car doesn't have the full autopilot. I think this is the standard. And so when autopilot is off, the steering assist and you only have cruise control and you're driving you cannot turn autopilot on you have to stop and be in park if you have autopilot on and you drive then you can switch around I don't get the sense of that uh, but you can only turn uh, uh, steering assist off with cruise control in the infotainment system you cannot do it anywhere in the button here um, like I said, cruise control is fine. Sadly, it doesn't have a resume function for whatever reason, but luckily I want to drive 130 and you can set that on the highway, it should drive 130 anyways. But what I do is when it's off like this, I just drive the speed I want to do and resume. So that's fine. But again, it takes the speed uh, that it thinks you should drive on a highway, which um, it's 130 now, luckily exactly my speed. If not, I would always have to drive the exact speed and then uh, switch it to resume, which is annoying. Autopilot, again, it, nothing has changed, it's not better. Um, in this car, since it doesn't have the advanced, or I don't know, the full self-driving then, e even when I just put on the indicator, it doesn't turn off steering assist it turns off the whole cruise control i don't know why when i have only cruise control off and on and i switch uh, uh, turn the indicator on to pass the car it keeps it on i'm okay with it turning the, the steering assist off but keeping the cruise control on but no it turns everything off it's freaking annoying other than that driving is amazing the software is great um, I'm listening to a podcast, sounds good. We checked the sound system yesterday, sounds fine. Um, it's a nice driving car and the consumption is amazing. But again, today is perfect condition. But also for an SUV, what this car is, the consumption is incredible. And an all wheel drive car. I used 50% of the battery, drove 192.5 kilometers at 385 kilometers of full range. My consumption is a bit higher than before, just a tiny bit, but I'm driving slower because here is a speed limit of 120 that they started two weeks ago or so and for a long time, 30-40 kilometers that we have to drive in this direction and back. but. It's still 120, I can drive by 127, that's okay. I just turned around, navigated back to the Georgia and I will arrive with 9%. Yes, I navigated the charger and the car most likely will preheat the battery, but I'm also doing a little charging test and I don't want to wait at the charger to preheat and then, you know. So yes, the consumption, I will see when it will show when the preheating of the battery starts and then tell you so the, the consumption will be a tiny bit more. Um, I hope driving today with 24 degrees and driving in 130 doesn't have to preheat too much, but we'll see. Um, it tells me, like I said, arrive with 9%. In 40 minutes, it's 92 kilometers to go. And as we all know, Tesla navigation is pretty amazing. Um, I like it a lot. And by the way, I totally forgot, it's so hot today that I have my cooling box here in the 12 volt outlet that's cooling my water and my food, but I can barely hear it. So it makes good noise, but uh, the car itself, especially on this road now here, um, is louder than, than the, the cool box. So it's not, I don't think you can hear it on the, on the microphone.
Do you want to charge for free? Of course you do. And how can you do that with Encharge? Encharge is an app. You install it and when you are at the charger, you rate this charger, you tell the charging provider via the app if there's something wrong, if it's not clean, if not something isn't working. And then the charging provider is so happy for that, that via Encharge it gives you kilometers and stars. And with this you can charge for free. Check the link in the description below if you want to know more. I arrived with 10% and car says I drove 307.3 kilometers, 190.7 watt hours per kilometer was my average consumption. Oh, I calculated the range and I get to 386 kilometers, attacked by a gigantic bug, uh, which is amazing for an all-wheel all -wheel drive SUV. Really great. And if you want to compare the range tests that I did uh, with other cars, there's a link in the description to all the range tests that I did with the different cars at 90 km an hour, 110 and 130. Uh, I'm not doing a charging test and by the way, I didn't preheat the battery. Um, eight minutes before the charger, 13 kilometers, it said I'm preheating the battery now for fast charging and I stopped the navigation, so I did it for 10 seconds. So the consumption is really what I got today. And I'm charging now and I'm charging with 200 kilowatts. So that's awesome. And I'm at 20% until 80%. It takes 30 minutes now. I mean, yeah, it's not incredible, but you also don't need to charge to 80% all the time since it has amazing range. <laughs> yes, charge to 80% and I'm going to do my next range test with 110 kilometers an hour. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Life one and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.